Hi everyone and welcome in this new tutorial. I'm Arian and today we're going to see how to create an animated off canvas menu by using Elementor, Elementor Pro and Dynamical plugins. You will find all those plugins in the description of this video. So let's start right away. So we're going to add our menu icon of course in the header of our website. So I need to go on templates, team builder, just go on add new then select header and we will call it menu of canvas like that create a template i will close this and click on this plus button select the two column structure and on the left i click on the plus button add a title a heading click and drag and drop it here we we'll call it xt unicorn and on the right click again on the plus button and search for menu and you will find animated menu of canvas here is it drag and drop it here and of course now we have our icon so with this selected be sure you clicked on this little icon here and now we can change all the settings if i try and click on the burger menu as you can see it shows me already a preview of how it works. So I'm going to close this and start to style this. First thing, select the menu. So I already made a menu here, just select it. You can change the depth of it. Of course, if you have like sub menu and you know, nested menus and everything, but I will keep it zero as my menu is very simple. Menu icon alignment, you can change all those options here. Side background, you can show it and we will later add an image to it and of course animation time so i will keep this for 100 and i will try to make a little bit faster the opening and everything else so i will add 200 here here i will try to add a 500 and a 250 great so i'm going now on style and here you can change the menu width the menu width is actually this part of the menu on the right side it's the white part you can change the width by changing this value after that you can change the menu centering it or putting on the left on the right so i'm going to center it right now and then typography items i click on this change the family to poppins like always oops the size will be like this and then weight I can make it 700 of course transform I will keep it like that and then uh, the sub items you can style them differently if you wish and colors I can change the colors to the normal text color let click on here I will make it black on hover I will make it uh, let's say violet and as you can see now it works cool you can change the active color and whatever after this you can change the space of the padding of course you can change also the spacing between the menu items by changing this bar here as you can see cool and sub menu and shader indicator whatever so i'm going also to click on menu icon and the menu icon actually will allow you to change it to bar or custom icon i will keep a bar and you can also change the size of course so i'm going to close this so i can see my uh, menu as you can see it's very very big so i'm going to make it smaller so here we can uh, actually also change the the side background now by clicking side background clicking on this classic and here i will add an image so i'm going to click this uh, you can select an image from your uh, gallery i have some here so i will insert this one and of course yeah i will uh, change the side to the size sorry to cover okay so that will be full and if i click on my little menu here if i'm reaching it as you can see now I have my menu and an image here great so I can change also the close button so clicking on the close button I can actually change the type of close button selecting an image or you know an icon I can disable it if I wish but I don't suggest to do that the color so the close color the background color of the button and uh, another important thing is actually the button size so we can change the button size to make it bigger if you wish and we can also change the position of the close button I'm going to change the position of this 
so it's more visible of course you can change it as you wish and now if i close it it's a little bit more visible right so i will let you play with this of course you can also change the close width as you can see now it's a little bit more uh, visible and and yeah that's all so another important thing is that our menu need to be adaptable sorry uh, to the mobile version so how to make this work so let's click on this responsive mode icon and as you can see now the menu is not working correctly if i click on it we have this strange uh strange thing happening here so what we need to do of course we need to go on the top here and uh, uh, go on animated of canvas menu click on this as you can see you will have this little icon mobile that means that all the edits you will do to this setting will be reflected only on the mobile version so if i change this to 100 means that he will take all the space on mobile version let me try and as you can see Voila, you have your menu right in the middle of the, the screen, of course, and your close button is here. So we are going to change the close button also for the mobile version. So I'm going back here, close button, and as you can see, you have the button size and the mobile icon. It means that if I change this, it will be changed only on the mobile version. And I can change the position of this. Let me try. So I want it here, or you can make it in the middle, of course, if you wish. So I will add it here and I will click on publish add condition and of course my header will be in the entire site and save and close here is our page but we are going to test it on incognito mode so I'm going to copy this ctrl shift n and paste my website here so now I'm in incognito mode make sure you hard refresh the page and then test out your website this looks cool it's working really fine so now i'm going to test the mobile version right click inspect now be sure you clicked on this toggle device bar or otherwise you can test directly on your phone just hard refresh again and now if i check my website works fine great so the tutorial is ended and I hope that this video was useful to you. So please like this video and then subscribe to the channel. Of course, notification bell if you want to be notified and this will help me keep going with my tutorials and with my YouTube channel. Thanks a lot and see you in the next video. Bye.